Greetings everyone. My name is Rachit Bansal and I am the group leader of team number 38. Today we are going to present our Capstone's project which is Soldiers Health Monitoring and Tracking System. And now my group members will introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Deepak Goel. Hello, my name is Kanish Agarwal. Hello, my name is Sudanshu Mahajan. Greetings. My name is Yuk Chaudhary. Now I am going to provide you with a brief introduction about our project. The motivation came from current condition of communication means provided to our soldiers which were not up to the standards of technology in hand. The solution that we came up with was a portable device which provides us with location of soldier as well as their vitals. It makes use of mesh network technology to connect the soldiers with each other instead of other sources like internet which we would further elaborate upon in later part of this video. This was further combined with features like automatic SOS functionality. Now moving on to flowchart. Upon switching on the device, the mesh network gets initiated first followed by the other sensors that is SPO2 sensor, heart rate sensor and GPS module. After initiation, the sensor gets calibrated with the soldier's body and calculate the oxygen level and heart rate of the soldier wearing that device. If the calculated value is less than or equal to the threshold value, then an alert message containing the GPS coordinates and health parameters of the soldier is broadcasted over the network. All the soldiers as well as the squadron leader receive that alert message over their OLED screens. Hence, all other soldiers can also view the vitals and GPS coordinates of that unconscious soldier over the Android app. The soldiers can navigate to the location of the unconscious soldier and also data is sent automatically to the control unit which then sends the rescue team for saving that soldier. If the calculated value is greater than the threshold, then the sensor recalculates the value iteratively till the value calculated is less than or equal to a threshold value. Also, the device is featured with an SOS button which when pressed by any soldier, then the vitals and GPS coordinates of that soldier are broadcasted over the network. In a mesh network, each node is connected to every other node directly or indirectly. Let's say there are two soldiers, soldier A and soldier B and they need to communicate with each other but they are not in range directly. So the communication can take place indirectly by hopping through different nodes to reach the final node or the soldier B. Also, if a certain node is dead, we would still be able to communicate by using another path to reach the final node. Upon switching on the power, the system turns on and initializes all the sensors. The GPS sensor obtains current coordinates and heart rate sensor is ready to read. Now to get readings from the heart rate sensor we place our finger on the sensor. After few seconds we can see the correct values. Now to simulate an unconscious situation we take off our finger from the sensor and the reading drops. This way an automated emergency signal is broadcasted to the whole network. The app receives the signal. Now in order to locate the unconscious soldier we press the navigate button which helps to navigate to the injured soldier. Another feature of our system is to provide a direct communication between the soldiers. In order to demonstrate this feature, we will need to connect both the apps to the network. To send the message, we have to click the send button at the top. Then we have to choose the soldier ID to whom we need to send the message and then we need to click on the send button. The message will be received by the corresponding soldiers app. To ensure the security of our network we have included a disconnect command. To demonstrate that we will first need to connect both the apps to the network. Then we will select the particular device which we want to disconnect and we will send the hashtag disconnect message. The particular device will be disconnected and banned from the network. There is another way to disconnect a device from the network. 
in order to simulate an unconscious soldier finger is taken off from the sensor and as soon as the emergency signal is received the disconnect button in front of unconscious soldier appears this is an easy way to disconnect if that particular unconscious or injured soldier is now dead if a soldier feels that he has been compromised he can simply press the destruct button to disconnect himself from the network permanently If a soldier is not injured but finds himself in an emergency situation he can press the SOS button in order to seek help. 